flowing to Mexico Chinese automotive supply chain What attracts the Chinese automotive supply chain to flock to Mexico? Why do Chinese automotive companies venture to a foreign land? When it comes to Mexico, the images that may come to mind for many people are drug cartels and illegal immigration, not a mature automotive industry. However, Mexico has already become the seventh largest automotive producer and the fifth largest automotive parts producer in the world. The automotive industry is the largest manufacturing sector and one of the most active industries in the country. This year, Mexico has surpassed China to become the largest trading partner of the United States. According to data from the World Journal, the bilateral trade between Mexico and the United States reached $263 billion in the first four months of this year, accounting for 15.4% of the total U.S. imports and exports, surpassing China's 12%. Even more unimaginable is that as early as the 1920s, automotive tycoon Ford was the first to establish an assembly line factory in Mexico. In the mid to late 1930s, General Motors and Chrysler followed suit. The automotive giants from Detroit played a crucial role in shaping the Mexican automotive supply chain. Since then, car manufacturers from around the world, such as Volkswagen and Hyundai, have followed suit and entered the Mexican market. Unfortunately, the development of Mexico's domestic automotive industry has been cautious and limited, heavily relying on foreign investment. Compared to automotive manufacturing powerhouses like the United States and Japan, Mexico has very few domestic automotive brands, and they are not well known, similar to the situation in the Indian automotive market. Point one major event that happened in 1994 undoubtedly served as a milestone for Mexico's automotive industry. With the passage of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, it attracted many multinational car manufacturers to establish production bases in Mexico, acting as a catalyst for the development of Mexico's automotive industry. In 2020, Mexico, Canada, and the United States signed a new trade framework agreement, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USMCA, which further propelled Mexico's automotive industry towards the fast lane, specifically, the USMCA replaced the more than 20-year-old NAFTA. One noteworthy change in the USMCA is the updated rules of origin, which require automakers to use 75% North American content. Meaning that 75% of the parts in cars produced in Mexico must originate from Mexico. This means that the previous practice of assembling cars in Mexico and selling them to the United States to enjoy zero tariffs has been eliminated. As a result, European, Japanese, and Korean car manufacturers who want to manufacture cars in Mexico for export to the United States must now seriously consider manufacturing in Mexico. To this day, Mexico has successfully attracted many international car manufacturers including Nissan, BMW, Volkswagen, Hyundai Kia, Mazda, and many more, to establish production bases within its borders. Among them are the production of high-end models, such as Audi's Q5 produced in Mexico, supplying the entire Western Hemisphere, benefiting from the concentration of factories from globally renowned car brands. With over 30 assembly plants in Mexico, Mexico's automotive production is quite high. Currently, Mexico produces over 3 million vehicles annually, with 90% of Mexican-made cars dedicated to global exports, of which 79% are sold to the United States. Since the beginning of this year, Mexico's automotive sales, production, and exports have continued to grow. According to data from the Mexican Automotive Industry Association, AMIA, it is projected that by 2025, Mexico will become the fifth-largest automotive producer in the world, ranking after Germany, with its advantageous geographical location close to the U.S. market and multiple free trade agreements such as the USMCA. Mexico has become a nearshore destination for car manufacturers and suppliers. Especially in the past two years, Mexico has become a new hub for the automotive manufacturing industry, attracting numerous companies including a significant presence from China. The United States is the world's second largest automotive market, 
and its importance is undeniable. However, the U.S. has imposed high tariffs and restrictions on Chinese car brands, such as the Inflation Reduction Act. Looking back to 2012, when Tesla entered China, China provided an open and friendly market environment, while the U.S., in order to unilaterally protect its domestic car manufacturing industry, took a different approach, the traditional model of selling complete vehicles no longer works in the U.S., so Chinese car companies and component manufacturers have had to establish factories in Mexico as a detour to enter the U.S. market. Under the USMCA Framework Agreement, locally produced Chinese cars and components may be able to withstand the risk of potential U.S. sanctions and be exported to the U.S. market with zero tariffs. Going back to the 1970s, Japanese cars were popular in the U.S. market due to their reliable quality, low fuel consumption, and affordable prices. However, they faced strong resistance from the U.S. government. In order to maintain their presence in the U.S. market, companies like Toyota, Honda, and Nissan had to establish factories in the U.S. for local production and sales. While the actions taken by Japanese automakers back then cannot be simply replicated, the process is similar, and China is going through a similar journey to what Japanese cars faced. On March 1st of this year, Elon Musk officially announced during an investor day that Tesla would establish its first factory in Latin America in Mexico to produce the next generation of electric vehicles. Musk stated that production could begin as early as 2024 and the Mexican factory would become Tesla's largest production base. The new factory covers an area of 4,200 acres, and the initial production capacity is planned to be 1 million vehicles per year, with Tesla's plan to build a new gigafactory in Mexico. Domestic component companies in China are accelerating their layout in Mexico, betting on Tesla's success. Leading companies such as Exian Quan Shares, Mint Group, Wanfeng Auto Holding Group, Juncheng Group, and Wenken Holdings have already started production in Mexico. Xuxing Group and Top Group are also accelerating their factory construction plans around Tesla's Mexican factory. The supply chain system of the Shanghai Tesla factory is already well established, so why are Chinese component companies following Tesla to unfamiliar Mexico? Aren't they concerned about the risks of overseas operations? The answer is that Tesla's overseas production capacity is equally crucial to their business. Collaborating with Tesla is seen as a prestigious opportunity, and these elite companies have been carefully selected. However, few people consider the hardships and helplessness they face behind the scenes. Elon Musk's endorsement of first principles also emphasizes the importance of minimizing costs. Therefore, Component companies have to strive to lower costs to gain Musk's recognition. There is no lowest cost, only lower. It may seem like a collaboration to make money together, with higher sales resulting in higher profits. However, it is often the component companies that silently bear the brunt of the pressure. ASA result, what the public sees is Tesla continuously lowering prices, which is met with applause from consumers. However, this cannot be achieved without the contribution of the component companies. According to Musk's plan, the next-generation entry-level electric vehicle, priced at $25,000, will be produced in Mexico. This means that every aspect of the production process needs to be optimized for cost. In order to fulfill Musk's orders, component companies have to work overtime, conduct research and development tests, and continuously improve efficiency to keep up with Tesla's high demand. At this point, many people may have concerns. Going all the way to Mexico, a foreign land, to work with Tesla on the grand mission of new energy. What if Tesla abandons them? Wouldn't that be a huge loss? From 2011 to 2021, it can be said that it was the golden decade for the Apple chain companies. Compared to Tesla, they are currently in a rapid development phase. According to Musk's vision, they aim to produce 20 million electric vehicles annually by 2030. In other words, the next decade's opportunities are likely to come from Tesla. 
For the survival and development of automotive component companies, they need big customers like Tesla. Therefore, even if it means going to a foreign land like Mexico, they are resolute and decisive in their decision to embark on this journey, taking a historical perspective and reviewing the development history of the automotive industry in countries such as Germany, the United States, and Japan, it is evident that their industry positions were formed through global expansion. Currently, Chinese domestic brands have taken the lead in areas such as intelligence, electrification, and industrial chain integration. Against the backdrop of the domestic automotive market entering a stage of stock competition, going global has become the necessary path to find structural growth for the Chinese automotive industry, narrowing the focus to individual automotive companies, in order to maintain survival and achieve growth, Chinese domestic automakers have to explore new markets in more regions. The United States, as a nation on wheels, is a market that any domestic automaker would want to enter and establish a presence in.